All right, this is Ron Rogers, and for those of you who are following the Cessna Turbo 310 our annual, uh, this is the vacuum pump issue that has been perplexing me. You see the th one on the right is kind of melted. Uh, the one on the left is what it should look like. And I have been fighting this issue on the vacuum pumps for a year. And uh, I've got some suggestions from uh, you guys who are watching this. So that's good. And uh, you will see them referenced here as far as the cooling jacket. And uh, they're still investigating the, uh, uh, the leak rate. See, the problem was when they took off, all the vacuum instruments in the cockpit uh, the the vacuum pump had nothing to power and I guess that causes a problem and they're trying to uh, uh, sort that out so anyway it's been eating up vacuum pumps and uh, you see what happens a little gear there it melts there hopefully uh, fortunately the pump was in good shape it was the gear that got too hot but uh, you'll see the progress here thanks for watching all right so here's the vacuum pump the one that's failed and they took it apart, looked at it, they said the veins were fine, but here's the culprit. This is the shaft that goes in. You see that's all melted. That's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to look like this. See how much nicer that is, not melted at all? This was melted, because I noticed uh, before, and I think I said, that doesn't look right. You know, that little wobble like that, I didn't think that was right. And it's not, because it's all melted. So this is the guy that goes in there. They had a spare one. Yeah, those little holes, I guess, fit over the uh, little things in there I don't know if you can see them very well there they go the little gear things but anyway that's the deal with the vacuum pump and they got to work uh, they don't think it's venting properly or we're leaving properly and so they're going to work on that so that's the issue there there's the airplane out there it's got all the plugs in and stuff like that and uh, they'll uh, um, continuing the saga of getting everything to work. All right, so they just got it in and you saw the vacuum pump there and this is the cooling kit. There's the air intake and here is the, the box that came in, the hose that connects to it. And uh, yeah, there it is. It goes around the pump to cool it. Okay, and it probably won't solve the problem because there's another issue because the airplane was originally designed without that, but it certainly will help. And we'll go on out here to the airplane and uh, we'll take a look at this here. Alrighty. So, yeah, here's part of the problem is the, the cooling air comes in here nicely, both sides, goes over the cylinders and then down here, but it stops here. So unless you have a hose to do something, this part gets warm back here. Of course, here's the turbocharger that gets warm and heats up this area. There's where the pump goes. So they'll put the vacuum pump there. This is the hose it connects to, one of them. Uh, no, that's the uh, fire discharge bottle there, over there. And like I said, the only time I used one in Cessna flight test for an engine fire, didn't make a difference. And of course it goes up here, the main bottle to the main part of the engine, I digress. But anyway, that's where the pump goes. They'll hook up a place for this hose to come in with the cooling air, cool it, and hopefully that will at least help it some. How about that?